Hulk Hogan was once the most prolific wrestler of all time, which allowed him and his family to live a life of luxury. And though his current net worth is resting at around $25.1 million, that fortune might have been a lot higher had it not been for a very costly divorce that the Hulkster went through with his ex-wife Linda. The pair were married for more than two decades, and at the end of it, Hogan was left with a gaping hole in his fortune and was forced to pay out around 70% of his assets to his ex-wife. The only question now is, did Hulk Hogan deserve to lose that much in his case against Linda? In order to figure that out, we're going to need to go back to what caused their divorce in the first place. Hulk and Linda got married around 40 years ago in 1983, and the two shared a seemingly happy marriage for just over 20 years before it was made public that the two were filing for divorce. That was in 2007, and two years later in 2009 the divorce was officially confirmed and the former couple would begin a lengthy series of court battles to figure out how their assets should be divided. Now, when it came to the divorce itself, Linda had accused her now ex-husband of being a cheater and made claims that he had cheated on her with Christiane Plant, their daughter's friend. Not much is known about the alleged affair between Hogan and Plant, aside from the fact that Plant has addressed the allegations and claimed that there was truth to them. On the other hand though, Hogan hasn't made any comments about them. And in fact, when it came to the divorce, he felt the opposite of how his wife felt at the time. According to the Hulkster, the divorce came as a complete surprise and was out of the blue for him. He hadn't been expecting it, though he admitted that there were problems in his marriage throughout the decade prior. Rather than admitting or denying that an affair had anything to do with the divorce though, Hulk simply blamed the end of his marriage on his TV show at the time, Hogan Knows Best. Now, even though Linda Hogan remained adamant that her husband had been involved in an affair with a much younger woman, she actually ended up being found in a similar situation, though there weren't any allegations of an affair. Shortly after she divorced Hulk, she was seen dating a 19-year-old named Charlie Hill, who, much like the young woman that she accused her husband of having an affair with, was friends with their daughter. In Linda's case, though, things seemed a bit more controversial when it was discovered that Hill even attended the same school as their daughter Brooke. This didn't do anything to deter her case against her ex-husband, though, when it came to the divorce. When it came to the division of assets, Linda definitely got the sweet end of the deal, most likely due to the court's suspicion of Hulk Hogan's infidelity. Linda was eventually granted a total of 70% of Hogan's liquid assets, leaving the Hulkster with only 30%. Now, for those who don't know, liquid assets are anything that can be turned into cash quickly or cash itself. It can be money in the bank or any bond that is transferable immediately. It can also translate to any cash on hand if they know about it. And in an autobiography written by Hulk Hogan, he claimed that the 30% that he kept equaled out to about $10 million, meaning that Linda got around $22 million. That's just in liquid assets. On top of that, the courts also granted Linda a 40% ownership stake in all of the companies that Hulk owned at the time. This included any money earned from his products such as Hogan Energy, the Hulk Hogan Thunder Mixer, and more. It's unclear exactly how much that equated to, but as long as she held onto the 40% share, Linda would potentially be earning residuals from the companies every year, depending on how often they paid out for as long as they stayed in business. That wasn't it though. On top of the $20 million or more in liquid assets and the 40% ownership stake in Hogan's companies, Linda was also granted a $3 million property settlement. This meant that the former couple had to list out all of the property that they owned, and Linda would have a claim of up to $3 million worth of it. This included houses, vehicles, and other material properties owned by Hulk Hogan at the time of the divorce. Now, if it had stopped there, that still would have been a massive financial hole for the professional wrestler to try and dig himself out of. But it only got worse. Linda and Hulk had both shared multiple investment accounts, and after all of their assets had been added up, the courts granted her $7.44 million from the accounts. And as far as investments go, $7.44 million isn't chump change in the slightest, and only made the hole that the Hulkster found himself in even deeper. According to the reports, when all was said and done, Hogan was left with just $2.97 million in his investment account, 
after Linda got almost 75% of it. In order to be paying off the money that he owed to his ex-wife, Hogan began listing many of his properties, as well as his luxury vehicles for sale. And remember, this was on top of the properties that Linda already got during the settlement. So not only was Hogan losing properties to his ex-wife, but he was also selling them to pay the rest of what he owed her. But it should also be pointed out that he wasn't only paying Linda. According to the reports, Hulk Hogan was also ordered to pay his ex-wife's legal fees, which at the time were around $180,000. The reasoning behind this was that Linda wouldn't have needed these lawyers had the court case not been drawn out or put into effect in the first place. To make matters worse, it's also reported that those legal fees haven't been entirely paid off yet, and they continue to pile up over the years, which is surely still affecting his finances. According to the Hulkster, the only real positive or wins that he got out of the divorce was the fact that the court ordered that he didn't have to pay alimony, and that the wrestler also didn't have to pay any residuals to Linda from any money he earned from live appearances. And at the time, Hogan was making a lot of money by appearing on TV shows, movies, commercials, and on pictures for product advertising. As of right now, it's been reported that Hulk Hogan's net worth is around $25 million. But it might have been much higher had the divorce leaned more in his favor. What do you think, though? Did Hulk get taken for a ride with his divorce? Or did he deserve to pay what the court said he owed? Make sure you let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed today's video, hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss a single upload.